Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's topic, it's about puff sleeves. So we'll be focusing on the design number one, which is fullness at hand. So let's get started. Una, kailangan natin yung basic sleeve block. So, basic sleeve block, gamit ko is medium size. Trace sleeve 2 inches below the biceps tayo. So, hanggang 2 inches lang from the biceps. I have a detailed tutorial on how to make this sleeve block. Next thing to do is to draw the slash lines. So first is the center line and then we have two slash line inside the back and the front side of the sleeves. So next one gagawin is to cut out the pattern piece and then after ko siya makat, fold ko siya in half or just the center. So usually, kailangan mo na siyang i-mark yung back and front. So yung matches na yan or yung bars na yan. Um, another way of telling kung saan yung back and front. So fold in half and then trace the slash lines. And then complete mo lang yung markings na ginawa natin. Para dun sa front side ng ating pattern. Get another piece of pattern paper and then draw a vertical line sa center ng paper. And then ito yung magiging guide natin for the sleeve pattern na ginawa natin. So i-match mo lang yung center and then extend 2 inches sa center line. Then pwede na natin siyang i-cut and then spread na natin. So we have 1 inches from the center and then 2 inches dun sa the rest ng spread natin. So same approach din ang gagawin natin for the front. So yung una ko ginagawa is to add the 1 half seam allowance sa under seam. And then, freehand ko na siyang imamatch sa my center extension natin. Or your 2 inches extension natin sa center. And then, you can use French curve. And then, ko complete ko lang yung sewing allowances sa cup line and the inseam. So, we have 1 half for the inseam and then 3 eighths for the cup line. For the front hem, ang ginagawa ko is to fold the pattern sa center and then ikakat ko na siya and then i-true up mo lang yung sa may dulo and that's it. This is our pattern for the puff sleeves. The next thing is yung sleeve band. So this is the dimension for the sleeve band. So you will need your elbow circumference plus the one half ease. You'll need fusible para dun sa ating sleeve band. Next is to mark our gather control notch. Usually yung pinaka outermost na at na spread natin. So mag start ako mag basting from the first notch hanggang dun sa kabilang notch. And then after basting, uh, pupul mo lang yung thread and then gather lang yung hem. And then the sleeve band should match the hem of the sleeves. We can now piece together the sleeve band and the sleeves. And meron tayong one half seam allowance. Then 
Then, flip lang natin yung band sa wrong side and then fold in the one half allowance in white. Then, itap stitch lang natin siya. So, if your garment has no lining, you can do over overlock or serge mo lahat yung raw edges or the cut edges and syempre after sewing press and this is our final look thank you for watching and i hope you learned something new from this tutorial please like subscribe and share this video with other friends and i'll see you next time